Four out of 10 deaths are caused by cancer in the U.S. Leukemia is a cancer of the bone marrow and the blood. Over 10 years ago, Olga Rager of Hutto, Texas, received a disturbing phone call from her doctor about her blood test. She said that I had an abnormal white blood count, and I said, what's abnormal? And she said, you're at 271,000. And I said, what's normal? And she said, between eight and 11,000. You have, you know, leukemia just was just more than I could really bear. So it was on December 18th, 1998, when I found out. So first off, it was like right before Christmas and I had a seven-year-old. I had all the classic symptoms once, like I said, I found out I had blurry vision, um, achy joints, um, bruised easily. I mean, I could just barely get bumped and I would bruise. Those are one of the three top symptoms that affected me. Kind of feverish, chills, uh, fatigue, a lot of fatigue set in. The lady called me from MD Anderson and said, your brother is a match. He matched you 10 for 10 and I was just ecstatic. If I don't get his stem cells, I can die. They had to wipe out my entire immune system. I got high dose chemo, depleted everything out of me, and then gave me his adult stem cells. And then they go and attach themselves to the bone marrow and everywhere it's gotta go. And it starts working its magic. And then you have to get your white blood count to start going up. To look at me, do I look like I was ever sick? No, I mean, if you were to see pictures of me back when I was sick and back when, right before I had my transplant, yes, you'd think that's a sick person. But no, I am, I'm, at, I'm running at 110%. I play tennis, uh, I'm involved in church at St. Vincent de Paul, I was the treasurer there. I just went to Disney World with 300 band kids on a bus for 25 hours going up there, four days at theme parks, and still be able to tell you that I'm great. I'm, I'm just involved in all kinds of things. I ran the concession stand last year for the football, for the band boosters. So I was working full time and running a concession stand every Friday uh, home game. So I'm, I don't know what else to say other than I'm doing absolutely wonderful. And I owe it all to an adult stem cell transplant. The Texas legislature is considering pro-life bills, Senate Bill 73 and House Bill 2379, to promote ethical, life-saving adult stem cell research and treatments. As Texans, we have a choice. We can support adult stem cell research, which has proven to help many like Olga and successfully treated thousands more with over 70 other medical conditions. Or we can fund embryonic stem cell research, which requires the destruction of human embryos and is yet to cure any disease. Embryonic research is the choice of California, spending $3 billion. Their first goal is to restore function for one disease in the next 10 years. Research has been ongoing for more than a decade with embryonic stem cells, which has the dangerous side effect of frequently causing tumors in lab animals. Contrast that to adult stem cell research, which has helped patients like Olga survive and thrive for over 10 years. I feared that I would die at one point because I was so sick. I, the hopes that I wanted to have were to be able to see my son graduate because he was seven at the time. Now my hopes and dreams have come true because he is about to graduate in eight weeks. And if it, were not for the adult stem cell, I'm sorry, I would not be able to be here telling you about this. So adult stem cells do indeed work and they are, can cure people. They cured me. Please help put patients first in Texas. Visit TexasAllianceForLife.org and learn how you can encourage your state senator and representative to support Senate Bill 73 and House Bill 2379 or call them today through the Capitol switchboard at 512-463-4630.